Did you know we can get addicted to our emotions? There's something called emotional addiction. And basically the theory is that whatever emotions we felt a lot when we were children, we actually create a homeostasis where we feel comfortable in that feeling. So for example, Maybe your household was very chaotic. Maybe you had an unavailable parent and you felt a lot of anxiety. Your body then produces the chemicals associated to those emotions. And through time, repeated over and over again, you get really good at getting into a state of anxiety or depression or anger. In a way, it feels like home. It's very familiar to you. So emotional addiction is when we subconsciously get into situations, whether they are relationships or engage in a way that will cause those same emotions to keep repeating. Human beings are drawn to what is familiar, whether it's food, music, partners, or emotions. So if you grew up in a household which was loving and supported, you create the necessary neural pathways and the chemical makeup that makes you very good at socializing and connecting. I know personally for me, I had a very unavailable father. Chaos was regular in my household. And I adapted by trying to overachieve to get the tension from my father and doing a lot, being a lot, editing myself, and I would feel resentful. And as an adult, I would find myself struggling with the feelings of resentment throughout my life. Whether it was work, I would take on more projects at work. I'd always raise my hand. Whether it was in friendships, I was always the one giving, making the effort to a point where I would get mad and then block people out of my life. To relationships where I would edit myself, try to be the perfect girlfriend and then feel this feeling of anger and resentment. And then I learned about emotional addiction and I realized I was addicted to resentment. And so understanding this, I started to look at how I was contributing to this feeling that kept repeating. And I found that when I was giving out of a place of wanting to earn validation, I was giving out of a place of fear and scarcity, it would add to this feeling of resentment. So knowing this, even to this day, when I find that there's an off balance and my reaction is to just give more, to put my foot on the gas pedal, prove myself, I'll stop and say, hmm, is this me just feeding that emotional addiction of, re of resentment? I've also learned how to be more clear with my boundaries instead of just letting people read my mind of how I'm feeling or what I want or what I don't want. I'm now using my words to communicate it so that I don't get to a point of resentment where I feel like I need to protect myself and cut them out of my life. I want you to reflect on what are some emotions that keep repeating in your life over and over again. An exercise that might help you is in your workbook. Thank you so much for watching my video. And this is just one part of a much larger breakup bootcamp masterclass. You can learn on your own time. Just click on the link below. And if you need help one-on-one -on -one right away, you can also book me for a private mentorship call. And there's always the breakup bootcamp retreat and the podcast. Links below.